<laughs> For this experiment, we're gonna need balloons, skewers, petroleum jelly, and a freezer. First, we're gonna take two balloons. You can mark them with a Sharpie, or you can pick two distinct balloons so that you remember that these are the ones that we're gonna put in the freezer. We're gonna let those guys hang out and chill for two hours and then we'll come back. We're gonna take two different balloons and we're gonna leave these room temperature. Take a room temperature balloon and blow a breath of fresh air into it. Is that a little hard? What if we keep blowing? Did it get easier? I wonder why I did that. Is it getting harder or easier to blow up the room temperature balloon? Let's write that down. Now we're gonna let that air out and take some deep breaths to get ready to continue to try this experiment out. <laughs> Harder or easier to blow this balloon out? <sighs> to make a fair comparison, we're gonna do it again. Cold balloon require more effort to blow up compared to the one at room temperature? Did your balloon pop when you poked it in the spot where the balloon was stretched hot? It's expected. The particles of cold materials move and wiggle less and can hold on to each other more easily. As a result, the cold balloon resists being stretched more than the warmer one does. That's why it was so hard to get that air in there. Did you observe that the balloons that were blown up with only a few breaths regained their original shape and size when the air was let out, while the one that was blown up completely did not quite gain its original size? This is typical for elastic materials. If we had blown even more air into the balloon, it would have eventually broken. Think about it like stretching a rubber band. If you stretch it really wide and then cut it in the middle, the two ends are gonna snap and pop back, right? In a similar way, the small hole in the top surface snap the ends back. This pool tore the surface of the balloon open in an instant and the balloon was torn into pieces in the air and all the air rushed out creating a shockwave, which you could probably hear as a loud bang. 
But when you poke a sharp object into a place where the material can still stretch, I thought this would be close to the knot, right? Or somewhere near the top. You can pierce it without destroying the balloon and it doesn't pull back or create a huge hole so it doesn't tear the balloon open. And the petroleum jelly helped to seal the hole so our balloon was still intact. Did you have fun today? <laughs> All right, I hope you had fun today. Remember, always be kind. If you're gonna be kind, throw that kindness like confetti.